All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So the next part of our Timber Creek series build is we're going to be talking about uh, bolt carry groups. Uh, so I was down at the IV-88 shoot, and the guys over there at DS Arms have got some really cool, innovative products. And, and one of those is this guy right here. This is a bolt carrier group by those guys, and it deserves in itself a review unto its own. So what I want to do is just take a look at some of the details. If you wonder what those little guys are right there, I'm going to explain them to you. Take a look around. We'll walk around this guy. Look at that. I mean, as far as bolt carrier groups look... This thing's top notch, but there's a big difference between this bolt carrier and the rest of them that you see here on this table. And what is that difference? Well, this guy is made of aluminum, the carrier it is. So let's talk about that and how it relates to some of these other guys and hopefully how it shoots down the road. Stand by. All right, so let's talk about this thing. This is the DS Arms AR-15 Enhanced Low Mass Aluminum. <laughs> Sand cut complete bolt carrier group. It's in 556, 223, or 300 blackout. And again, look how beautiful that thing is. So, this, uh, all right, so basically, this guy retails for $159. Magical, if you think about it. The first thing I want to do, because it is made of aluminum, let's keep an open mind, guys, okay? Uh, I want to go ahead and compare the weight with some of the other guys here. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. All right, so we've got some leading industries here. Uh, all right, so we've got some <laughs> industry leading bolt carrier groups right here, and I've got some other ones. So uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of these guys right here. This is the Brown L's light bolt carrier group. This is in the titanium nitride, and uh, it's held up pretty decently. So let's take a look at this. So the weight on the Brown ales is 8.2 ounces. This is in, in some people in the industry, in the competition world, this is probably one of the most elite bolts out there. This is a Rubber City Arsenal bolt carrier group. It's, uh, well, let's just say it's awesome. So let's see. 9.2 ounces. So the Brown ales was 8.2. Come on. 9.2. Hey, for shits and giggles, look at this guy right here. You know how I feel about PSA. This is their nickel boron. We've run some rounds through this guy. What are you weighing in at? 11.7. And here is probably one of the best examples of a bolt carrier group on the market. This is the JP Low Mass Operating System. This thing's pretty cool. What are we looking at? All right, so 8.8. .8. So in order, right here, I've got an 8.2, 8.8. What did we say you were? 9.2 and then 11 what was that 11.7 so here's this guy right here the guys over there at ds arms pretty neat there's other than just the functionality we're talking about the weight because the bolt carrier itself is nitride finish all right all the way around you've got sand cuts here you've got these things these are called sand cuts okay this guy 5.2 ounces Look at that, 5.2 ounces. So the closest competitor is the Brown L's at 8.1 all the way up to 11.7, 5.2 ounces. That's a huge consideration to take in place. So one of the things, if you ever plan on buying one of these things, you do need to run an H1 or H2 buffer. I'm going to gamble on just a standard buffer that weighs three ounces because we're going to be running a mid-length gas system. We'll see how it operates. If I need to, I'll go ahead and jump it up a little bit. All right, so let's take it down. Let's go ahead and bring the zoom the camera in and talk about the details on this guy. Here we go. All right, first of all, let's talk about some of the features. It's incorporated with these things called sand cuts, and that's one of those deals that they have... Uh, learn from their FN uh, partners and the uh, FAL and all the other cool things that they build uh, is that the sand cuts uh, lend itself to reliability. Now, durability, that's a different story, and we're going to be experiencing that firsthand here down the road. Uh, <laughs> so what that does is it enables the sand or any other debris to fall down while this thing is in action and decreases the uh, I guess the potential for malfunction. All right, so nitride finish all the way around. As you can see, it is a beautiful finish. Look at that thing. 
Absolutely. And the cuts are amazing. Under the lights, don't they look fabulous? I think they look absolutely fabulous. 775 T6 aluminum. Really, really cool stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the weight. Again, it's 5.2. Uh, the nice thing is, is that, and they claim this is the difference, is when you're reciprocating back and forth through the receiver, the receiver itself is made of aluminum. Well, why can't the bulk carrier itself be made aluminum? And then I had a good friend of mine. I'm going to leave him nameless because I don't know if he wants his name mentioned in this thing. He asked me about the uh, internals. Well, I don't, I don't know. I can't answer that question. This is a hardened steel chrome finish. Real quickly, I want to show you the machining on that firing pin. I was going to put it in there, and one of the things I just I started looking at was like, that. that is just tooled to perfection. Look at that guy. Absolutely perfect. Put it up against something like the uh, brown nails. And guys, that's what you're paying for. That's beautiful. The cam key is also hardened steel. The bolt itself is a 9310 super alloy steel MPI all the way around. A uh, hardened steel extractor. Let's go ahead and pull that out real quick. Take a look at that. And the heavy duty extractor spring. And we do have our little donut. You know how much I love my donuts. All right, the cam pin again, like I said, is hardened steel, and the firing pin is hardened steel. But the important thing is what is this lined with inside here? Is that just bare aluminum? Because the 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 what the concern is. Look at that, man. The carrier on this guy. Just the carrier itself. Hold on one second. Good grief. It's 3.1 ounces. Now, the ga gas key is properly staked and is also hardened steel. Pretty neat looking stuff. Let's just see something. Don't get these things mixed up. So our lightest competitor, 6.1 ounces. So this thing is three ounces lighter. And it is just, when he handed it to me, it was amazing. That thing just, it was like air weight. So only time will tell. Let's throw some rounds through it. Let's take a look at it down the road after we get done and see how it functions. My biggest concern is not the aluminum on aluminum, but it is the bolt inside this guy right here and how that's going to relate to where down the road. So anyway, that's it. The DS Arms Lightweight. This is what they call the Enhanced Low Mass Aluminum Sand Cut Complete Bolt Carrier Group in 556, 223, and 300 Blackout. But isn't it beautiful? I love those cuts. The machine cuts are really, really cool. Oh, and then they do make this as well in a uh, regular old steel. So I'll put the uh, link on my website, kb 32 Tech. We'll start a new page on that thing called the Timber Creek Build. But in any case, hopefully I get to that this week. Don't expect it out anytime soon. That's it, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below on aluminum carriers. New concept. Look at that. Look at the machine on that guy. I don't know if I want to shoot it or you know what. Never mind. It's Coda Boy 32. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who uphold our Constitution 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I am out of here. You guys be good.